It's our Lego. Are you ready for this week's reenactment? <laughs> yeah. I definitely am. I have been waiting all week for this. And I just happen to know this week we have three different figures to be open. Only three because we are starting out with Esther. And here she is. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, ba, da, dum. as Princess Belle, but we are using her as Queen Esther. That's right. Queen Esther is Belle. So we will be opening up three different characters. One will be Haman, and one will be King Xerxes, and one will be Mordecai. So I will... Okay. There's... Do you want one? The king. Okay, I've got King Xerxes. Okay, and I will start with Mordecai. And then we'll open up Haman in a minute. Oh, this is a good one. Oh. oh! That is one of the best ones I've ever seen, ever. Just wait. You're going to love it. How can that be a king? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. That's way, way, way better than Mordecai. Sorry, I go dropping things. What? How can that even happen? Ooh, Mordecai is a musician. Mordecai the musician. Mordecai the musician. I always have trouble putting things in their hands. Do you guys ever have trouble putting things in their hands? When you play with Lego? Okay. Mordecai. <laughs> King Xerxes. Oh, he is my favorite of all of them that we've opened. Okay, and now, Haman. Oh, ooh. Haman's a pilot. This one's really cool. This one's pretty cool too. <clears throat> I don't know that they had pilots in Bible time. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. They didn't, they definitely didn't have Mickey. No. Mickey is the coolest. Okay. Here is. And now we begin. in the kingdom of Persia. The king of Persia is Xerxes, and the queen is Esther, who is a Jewish lady. The king's right-hand man is Haman. Haman doesn't like the Jewish people, and he came up with a plan to kill all of the Jewish people. Mordecai is Queen Esther's cousin, and he is also Jewish. And he hears about Haman's evil plan and tells Queen Esther all about it. So Mordecai, when telling Esther, tells her that she needs to go to the king and tell him what Haman has planned. The problem with this plan is that one does not just go in and talk to the king. Even with trying to talk to the king, he can decide to have you killed on the spot. Esther knows it's a risk, but she has to take it in order to save her people. So she goes in to speak with the king, and the king raises his scepter up to Esther. And this means that she could speak and not be hurt. 
Esther invites the king and Haven over to a banquet the next day. And when they come over to eat the next day, she invites them over the following day. When the king and Haman were over the following day, the king asked Esther what she wanted to speak to him about. And she told him everything Haman had planned. The king was very angry with Haman and with everything that he had planned against the Jewish people. And then he made everything Haman had planned against the Jews actually happen to Haman. And the Jewish people were saved and they celebrated. And that's how Esther saved her people.